Do you like math? Are you good at it? Or do you struggle with it? You know, me, I've always kind of struggled with math a little bit. But I realized that music and math actually go together. And today I thought I'd show you a little bit about how they do. So let's talk about fractions first, and then we're going to get into music notes. And I hope it'll make a little bit more sense to you today. Let's start with this. Up here, I have a nice, nice lady named Gertrude. <laughs> Hi, Gertrude. <laughs> Looks like a Gertrude, doesn't it? <laughs> well, see, Gertrude has a circle, and that circle is cut up into different slices. So, my question is, how many parts of this circle are pink? Okay, the way fractions work is you have this number on top that's called a numerator, and a number on the bottom called a denominator. Now, the total number of parts is the denominator. So if we look at Gertrude's circle, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is going to be our denominator. Now the numerator is the number of parts that we're selecting. So for example, when we're talking about how many parts are pink, there are one, two, three, four. So the four would be our numerator and our answer would look like this. Four sixths of her circle are pink. Now, here we have uh, Billy Bob and uh, Ethel. Yeah, Billy Bob and Ethel. And the question is, how many parts of this rectangle are orange? Okay, again, we're going to do the same thing. Count up the total number of parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our denominator. And now count up the number of parts that are orange. One, two, three, four, five. So our answer in this case would be five sixths. Five-sixths of the rectangle are orange. Let's keep going. Here we have uh, Bruce. Hey. Yeah, Bruce. Spiky-haired Bruce. Now, the question we have for Bruce is how many parts of his rectangle are blue? Can you do it? What do you get? Hmm. There's ten parts. and seven of those parts are blue, so our answer would be seven-tenths. Is that what you got? Yeah, seven-tenths of his rectangle are blue. And here we've got Henry. Yeah, hey Henry. <laughs> How many parts of his rectangle are green? What do you get? Well, the answer is Ready for it? Three-fifths. Because there are five total parts. One, two, three, four, five. And three of them are green. So three-fifths. One more for you. Here we've got uh, Carla. Yeah, Carla. Hey, Carla. How many parts of her circle are yellow? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total parts, and one, two, three are yellow. So our answer would be three eighths. Good job, guys. Okay, now let's look at rhythms. Now, a rhythm is the long and short notes and rests that fit inside the beat. And so in music, we have lots of different notes and lots of different rests, but they all fit inside of beats, okay? And some of those notes are long, some of those notes are short. For example, a whole note. Now, a whole note gets four beats. It's a very long note. And a whole rest also gets four beats. Two, three, four. Um, a half note gets two beats. A half rest gets two beats. Quarter notes get just one beat. Here's the beat there, and quarter rests also get one beat. Guys, I like to represent the beats as hearts because it makes me remember that your heart beats, okay? And a beat is a pulse, kind of like how your heartbeat is a pulse, okay? And how about uh, eighth notes? Well, you see, two eighth notes that are connected get one beat. And two eighth rests would also get one beat. 
But if you did just one eighth note by itself that's not connected, it only gets half of a beat. And one eighth rest gets half of a beat. Okay, how about four sixteenth notes? Now here's four sixteenth notes connected, and you can see that again, four sixteenth notes, they're short enough notes that they can fit inside of one beat. Four sixteenth rests also fit inside of one beat. And how about a single sixteenth note by itself, not connected to any others? Well, in this case, it's only gonna get a quarter of a beat, just like a sixteenth rest gets a quarter of a beat. Now guys, let's uh, transition here and talk just a little bit about some shapes. We'll do blocks, okay? Uh, here I have a big red block. This is one whole block. Uh, it's about the size of my screen here. And the thing is, you can cut up blocks into different parts. So if that's one whole block, and if I were to cut it in half, I would get two half blocks. One here and one here. And if I cut each half block in half, I would get two quarters. And if I did the same thing here, I would get two more quarters. Now going on, if you took a quarter and cut it in half, you'd get an eighth. And if I did that all the way along the line, I'd get eight eighths. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I took an eighth of a block, and if I cut it in half, I would get, anybody know? Do you see the pattern? It's a sixteenth of a block. And to fill up the whole space, it would take, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sixteenths to create a whole. Now this is kind of interesting because if you look at the denominator of each block, that tells you how many of those size blocks you need to equal a whole. So for example, in one half, one out of two, you need two halves to equal a whole. Okay? In a quarter, the denominator, the bottom number is four, so you would need four quarters to fill up a whole. Keep going. If you have one eighth, the denominator, the bottom number is eight, and you would need eight eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And keep going on further, a sixteenth, you would need sixteen sixteenths to equal a whole. All right, now we can actually transition this into beats, like in music. So let's say, for example, we have a four beat measure, okay? And so I've got four hearts in my whole measure, okay? A measure is everything between two bar lines. And oftentimes in music, we have four four time signatures, which means that there are four beats in a measure. Okay, so we like to separate things out into four beat chunks or four beat measures. So if we have four beats here to equal the whole measure, how many beats would be in each half measure? Well, the answer is two. You'd have two beats here and two beats here. Now, if I were to cut that in half, I would have into how a quarter of a measure, there'd be one beat in each quarter. Again, to equal four beats. If I keep going, and if I were to take those quarters and cut them in half, you'd get a half a beat here and a half a beat there. A half a beat here and a half a beat there. A half a beat here and a half a beat there, a half a beat here and a half a beat there. You'd get eight halves. And if I were to cut those in half, you'd get a quarter of a beat, and a quarter of a beat, a quarter of a beat, and a quarter of a beat. There'd be four quarters of a beat, but to equal four whole beats, you'd need 16 of those sections. Now let's relate this to musical notes. For example, right here I have a whole note. And a whole note gets the whole measure. It gets four beats. Well, a half note, like this, gets half the measure. That's why we call it a half note. It gets half of the whole measure, half of the four beats, so each half note gets two beats.
If I take that half note and cut it into half, you'd get two quarters. Or to go across the entire thing, you'd get four quarters. So each one is a quarter of the measure. That's why we call quarter notes quarter notes, because each one gets one out of four beats, a quarter of the whole. If we keep going, we get eighth notes, and you would need eight of them. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need eight eighth notes to make a whole. That's why we call them eighth notes. And if we had 16th notes, you guessed it, there's going to be 16 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 sixteenth notes would make a whole. It'd be the same value as a whole note or a whole measure in a 4-4 time signature. Cool, I hope I haven't lost you yet on this, guys. Let's keep going. You know, the same thing is true with rests. You could have a whole rest, two half rests, four quarter rests, eight eighth rests, or 16 sixteenth rests. <laughs> now, even at home with me or at school with me, here's what I want you to do. I want you to clap this rhythm. Now, the way we do it in my classroom is like this. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. How about this one? T T ta T T ta. Or this one? T T T T T T ta. Ta T T T T. Ooh, look at this one here. Tick a tick a T T T T ta. Or this one? Ta tick a tick a ta. Ticka, 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 ti, ti, ta. Now, guys, what we did is we took those different rhythms, separate them out into four beat sections. So we knew that four sixteenth notes was a beat, four sixteenth notes was another beat, two eighth notes was a beat, and one quarter note was a beat. By doing this, we were able to combine four different styles of notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, making sure that each had enough to fill in their respective beat, and we created four beat phrases. Now, how about uh, this rhythm? <laughs> now, a quarter rest won't make any sound. I like to clap it like this. Well, I don't really clap it. I, this is my motion, though. Four beats. How about this one? Ta, ta. See, two beats of rest and two quarter notes. That equals four. Four beats. Look at this one. T, 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 T. Good. Wait a minute, I did this one backwards. I read it backwards. Hold on, let's go back. We gotta do this one again. Okay, ta, ta. That's what happens when you're looking in a viewfinder that's mirroring the image. You gotta start at the beginning. Always read uh, from left to right, kids. All right. Uh, let's move on to this one here. Ta. Keep it going. Ticka, ticka. Ti, ti. Ta. Ta. Ticka, ticka. Ti, 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 ta. See, each pattern that I'm clapping is a four beat phrase. Even this whole note. Ta. All right, now it's time for some questions. Let's see if this is making sense to you. Here's the question How many notes are on this page? How many notes? Now, I think the easiest way to do this is to count the number of note heads. You see, a note is usually made up of a note head and a stem. So for example, if you look at this quarter note, the note head is the circle, the stem is the little stick that goes up. Now a whole note doesn't have a stem, but it's still a note because it has a note head. So for that reason, what I like to do is I like to count up the number of note heads. Let's do it. We've got one note, two notes, three notes, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. There are 31 notes on that page. Okay, how many rests are on the page? 
Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Hey, same number as before. Thirty-one rests. Well, let's make it a little bit more interesting because my next question is how many beats are on the page? Ah, how many beats? Now you've got to remember that a whole note gets how many beats? Four. Okay, so we've got four beats here. Now a half note gets two beats and another half note gets two beats, so that's four too. So we have four beats on the first line, four beats on the second line. How many beats are here? Well, each quarter note gets one beat. So there's one, two, three, four beats that, wait a minute, there's a pattern here. Every single line gets four beats. Remember, two eighth notes together get one beat. One, two, three, four. And four sixteenth notes together get one beat. One, two, three, four. So our total number of beats on this page would be four, eight, 12, 16, and 20 beats. Same thing is gonna hold true with the rest. There will also be 20 beats on the page when dealing with rests. Because remember, rests still take up beats, they just get a beat of silence. Ah, but now I've removed some. So here's my next question. How many notes are on this page? Okay, listen really carefully to the question. How many notes are on the page? When asking how many notes there are, count up the note heads. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Guys, there are eighteen notes on that page. How many rests are on that page? Well, let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are thirteen rests on that page. Okay, how many beats are on this page? Guys, a big part of the reason I want to do this lesson with you is to teach you the difference between notes, rests, and beats. Okay? So when doing beats, we know that half note gets two beats, so there's two. Quarter notes get one, so that'd be two, three, four, five. Two eighth notes get a beat, so this would be six, seven, eight. Four sixteen notes get a beat, so nine, ten. There are ten beats on that page. Uh, how many rests? Or no, how many beats are on this page? Okay. We're gonna count it just like we did before. We know that there's four beats on a whole rest, so that's four. Two beats on a half rest, so four, five, six. Here we've got one beat, so seven. Each eighth beat together makes a beat, so you'd have to have two of those, so that'd be what, eight? And here, four sixteenth rests equal a beat, so that would be nine, and four sixteenth notes equal a beat, that would be ten. There are ten beats on that page. Let's do some math problems, shall we? Question. Solve to find the number of notes. Now I'm gonna get, it's gonna get tricky here, because again, you have to remember the difference between notes, rests, and beats. Okay, so if asking how many notes there are, with a whole note and a half note, how many notes are there? Oh, there's two notes. Count the note heads. There's one, two. Two notes. Okay, how many beats are there? Well, here we know that a whole note gets four beats, and a half note gets two beats, and four plus two is six. So there are six beats. Uh, how many notes are there? Well, one, two, three, four. Four notes. How many beats are there? Remember, each quarter note gets one beat, so there would be one, two, three, four beats. So I'll define the number of notes. Now don't get tricked by the rests here. Remember, notes and rests are different. So when counting notes, just count the number of note heads. One, two, three. There's three notes. But how many rests are there? Well, just one. And how many beats are there? Quarter note is one beat. Quarter rest is one beat. 
and two eighth notes together is one beat. So our total is three beats. All right, I know I'm going kind of fast, but I hope you'll hang on there with me, okay? Solve to find the number of notes. Well, there's one, two, three, four note heads, so that must mean there's four notes, four sixteenth notes. How many rests are there? Well, that's just one rest, so there's one rest. But how many beats are there? We know that four sixteenth notes equals one beat, and a half rest equals two beats. Put those together, you get three beats. Solve to find the number of notes. Do you see a note up there? No, there's no notes up there. It was a trick question. Those are rests. There are no notes. All right, how many rests are there? One, two, there's two rests. But how many beats are there? Well, a half rest is two beats. Another half rest is two beats. You put them together and you get four beats. Okay. Solve to find the number of notes on this one. Yeah, you didn't get tricked that time, did you? Yeah, there's zero notes. But how many rests? One, two. Two rests. And how many beats? Ah, tricky one. Now, this here is a whole rest. That gets four beats. And this is a half rest. Two beats. You put them together, you get six beats. Four plus two equals six. Okay, solve to find the number of notes. We've got one, two, three, four notes. Solve to find the number of rests. Do you see a rest? I don't. No rests up there. They're just notes. So there are zero rests. But how many beats? Well, two eighth notes together is one beat. A whole note is four beats. So four plus one is five. But we also have to add a half note, which is two. So five plus two equals seven beats. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, it was a, a pleasure teaching you how music and math fit together. And my hope is that now it makes a little bit more sense why we call a quarter note a quarter note, an eighth note an eighth note. 16th notes, 16th notes, half notes, half notes, and whole notes, whole notes. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.